Hi, I'm Michael Marcel. I, I'm an attorney in Beverly, but I live here in North Salem on uh, Buffum Street. And one of my passions in life is uh, preservation and historic resources. Um, I do a lot of historical research and I'm also a genealogist, have been for many years. And we have two beautiful, uh, what they call Victorian garden cemeteries in Salem. One is, is Harmony Grove, where we are right now. The other, which is a private nonprofit corporation established in 1840. The other is Green Lawn, which is over uh, just south of us here off of North Street. Uh, Harmony Grove was started in 1840 by proprietors who wanted to build an idyllic, picturesque park like setting for a cemetery. Um, and they pretty much did that and they established a uh, trust. And every tomb and grave that was sold, money was set aside for what they call perpetual care. This is above and beyond regular grass cutting. It's, it was money intended, um, according to the articles at the time, to maintain the individual graves so the families would never have to worry. And you can see that over the years, despite having uh, uh, almost $8 million in their trust accounts, according to their 2013 tax return, that this tomb here doesn't look like much, but this is just a thin piece of plywood that is rotting, that's been here for quite some time. I can see it when I pulled on it, it almost fell apart. There's a gap behind it, there's nothing. The, the, the bricks that used to block this up are gone and the tombstone that was here is gone. There's a tomb over here to our left that was completely exposed this past weekend in which I uh, was able to take photographs of the rem human remains inside exposed and the debris, the smashed coffins. Uh, I was told that this is the grave of a 65-year-old woman and a one-year-old baby. And they did, after I sent a, uh, an email to the superintendent, bringing to her attention how disgusted I was with this, uh, the very next day she had the grounds people who were an outside company come, and he told me that they asked him to brick this up and they bricked it up now. But uh, you could tell from the debris inside that it's actually probably been, had been open to the elements for quite some time. And all around the cemetery, there's examples of headstones toppled, uh, monuments falling apart. Uh, lots of the crypts like this are the same as the one over there and they're just covered with a cheap piece of plywood that's rotting away. They haven't been properly resealed. Um, you can see over here, there's tombstones down. Um, I look at my, I view myself as basically a, a guardian of the dead if you want to put it that way, as somebody who respects and has a lot of passion for these people and the fact that they have no one left around to speak up for them, no, no close family members that can stand up for them. And I feel that that's something that's my job, that's one of the reasons I'm here, um, is to speak up for the dead and to say, hey, not only is this a great historic resource and a, a natural habitat for wildlife, but it's also uh, the resting place of, of people and some very prominent people as well. Over 30 mayors of Salem are buried here and Mr. George Peabody was the greatest philanthropist of the 19th century is buried here with also with some early settlers because they moved 100 graves when they founded the cemetery. Um, so it, it expands the, the generations and um, with the money they have that they're not spending to restore uh, as the the monuments deteriorate it only gets more expensive to do so i'm just very disgusted that that uh, it isn't in the kind of shape that it should be for a cemetery that actually does have money in the bank unlike some city cemeteries that have nothing